Okay. This is a 10 by 20 inch canvas. I'm Priscilla Batsell. Welcome to Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery in Spring Hill, Florida. That's a little bone china or what is it? I don't know. It's, it says it's porcelain, but I found it at the church resale shop. And uh, I pre-primed this canvas black with mead and black paint. And the other day I tried to put one of these marks down with a full pan of paint onto, onto a wet canvas and it did not work the way I wanted it to. So today I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to put down paint in the bottom of my dish. And this is just Artist Loft with Floatrol and GAC 800. And then I'm going to float other paint on top of it, hoping that it flows out. And after I get my paint on the canvas, depending on how that goes, cat hairs everywhere, um, I caught the cat in my studio again. Um, after that goes, we'll figure out what goes on, because I think I'll put paint around the puddle that I'm going to add. This is Wild Orchid. And I think all this will float. I'm really hoping I'm right. This is Saffron. I don't even think I would mind if a little bit of it showed a little bit of the white. I probably could have hit it with a torch, but I see there's so many bubbles in it from me shaking it up. It shouldn't make any difference. This is Egyptian Blue. I'll list the colors under the video. Saffron, Egyptian Blue, and Wild Orchid are all prism pores. This is Periwinkle. This is a Vivid Intense Fluorescent. And I'm just taking my chances as I go along. I'm going to use some Mystique, another prism, uh, excuse me, another primary element. Maybe not another one, but a primary element. Without that chip on my finger, please. Now I'm hoping I can cover the white, all of the white, before I get to the point where I've filled up the dish so much. This is a new Purely Pigments Dancing Fuchsia that I added to pouring medium, like I would the primary elements. I'm not sure how that's going to dry because I'm not that familiar with it yet. I'm being called, I'm just going back to my rainbow roots. I'm being called to some uh, some Tuscan Sun, but I have to open it because it's not a color I thought I was going to use, so I didn't check it. I believe we will be able to get some out. But that always makes me want Sour Lemon with Orange Crush. I want some red, and I have some red ready. Red, red, ready? Maybe I want something different. Um, maybe Big Apple. Prism. Prism Pour. Yeah, that's not my usual, but I love it. I'm not sure I can do all of this without some jasmine, but first I'm going to add a little bit of uh, Frosted Berry. Here comes the jasmine. Jasmine is a primary element. Jasmine is probably my number one go-to all-time favorite. I want to add some gold and I've got some shiny taffeta. No, not shiny taffeta. I've got some if it's open, I've got some Bling It Golden Maple. And it doesn't seem to be very open. It's time for new. The one thing I want that I haven't got in here is Royal Sapphire, and I think I'm going to put some in. As long as I can lay my... There we go. It's in a bottle I was supposed to open. 
fortunately it is open at least somewhat it's not my favorite design I've ever seen in one of my paint dishes but I'm hoping it'll work and if I have to change it by adding some tools or something I will I'm thinking orange crush just because I don't see my I don't feel like I have enough orange in there. It's another one that's sealed up. I have not been duly diligent getting all my bottle tips cleaned before I do painting. I was, it's the night before New Year's Eve. That's not coming out. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna be tenacious. I'm going to get you out, you lump paint in my tip. It's not coming. And I want it. So thank you for being patient with me. Finally, I think this is going to be the thing that makes it what I want it to be, though. I might decide to add a little bit of Chantilly Lace. Over the top of everything I was going to say, but then I did it with the Orange Crush. I kind of like that. I'm not too worried about the Chantilly Lace, but since I said it, I think I'm going to do it anyway. My own version of a marble. All right, so here goes nothing. Will it work? That's the question. could scrape that out but I don't really want to take the time to do it right now. I think what I do want to take the time to do is put a few marks in here. I don't usually do this but this would also be the time to add some new colors if I was going to do that as well. I always wonder why people don't just use a skewer instead of a marble to tell you the truth. Now this wouldn't be a bad time to um, to swipe either if I was going to do that. Now I wonder if I have, and I think I do have an edge catcher. So I'm going to put a layer of this. is In this case I believe it's Amsterdam Black, but it could have been pretty much Artist Loft or maiden. I just want a viscosity, a thinner viscosity, slightly thinner that I can, whoops, dragged right through the painting. Okay, well I'll have fix that in a second. Right there, the evidence is right there. Let's grab my skewer back again. The dish is looking kind of cool. I might still wind up swiping. Now, I haven't hit anything with a torch to get rid of the bubbles and I'll still have to do that. And the paint color is doing what I expected it to do, which is to swallow the black. Just trying to get the wave of paint to be somewhat evenly dispersed as I pour it from side to side, spread it out as evenly as I can. I'm 
not sure I'm going to call it my most successful <laughs> experiment ever, but it's not bad either. Not yet anyway. I'm going to grab an edge catcher, which is just a sheet of acetate or plastic or even cardboard if you wanted. I'm thinking that I don't like what I'm seeing that much and I want some negative space, so I'm going to add a little bit. I don't need that edge catcher as quickly as I thought I was going to, but I've got paint drips that seem to want to free themselves from the mass, which is not really what I want to have it happen at all. So I'm going to let all that go down right now. Let it even it itself out across the bottom and then throw it right back in because it creates a seal when it hits the, the plastic. So I let it flow back and then I have a gentle scrape. It could turn out cooler than I was expecting. I don't think the black hurt anything. I'm not totally in love with anything yet either. I'm so interested <laughs> in uh, not destroying the edge catcher that I've got with this cool patterns on it that I'm going to grab another one. Even thinking I might want, not want to uh, go all the way. I'm thinking I might want to swipe. I really am. I did it the other day and I wasn't that unhappy. I could use what I've got as a background. Just add a new puddle of colors. Might be just too many colors this time. Well, that's not usually my problem, but I do, I do know people have a problem with too many colors. Go back the other way. Then we'll contemplate. I'm liking those. The racing drips are pretty cool, actually. Now I'm going to take the length, the length of it, and see if I can get it to all spread sideways. Although I don't like what happened there. I want something else to go on here. So I'm going to let all that go down. Which it may or may not. See, once I get it to to the edge catcher, I can squeeze a puddle of paint down. I used to do this on landscapes and then let it go back in. It could still turn out to be something other than the thing I wasn't so sure I liked. But I'm not, not in love with that uh, big apple in this particular piece. don't like the red and the yellow together, so if I do swipe, that'll be where I'm swiping over. <laughs> Just letting everything go down. And then I'll have some paint I might want to put back into the painting. I don't know. We'll see. 
It was an experiment. It was not a successful experiment in my opinion yet. But I can move this canvas right down. Take that paint and put it right back in. I don't know if that's a lump. It looks like a lump. I think the black with the red was not a good combination. It's pretty ugly so far. I'm not too happy. But it could be a lot cooler if I just keep letting it go. It takes some time for things to work out. Everybody's got to make an ugly painting sometime. Now you can only see the edge of the painting. That's so. That's got to be frustrating. I've got the paint left, and my dish looks cooler than the painting. Maybe those are the colors I should use next time. Royal Sapphire and Dancing Fuchsia with uh, Sour Lemon and Orange Crush and Royal Sapphire. I see there's some blue in there, too. Now, at this point, I'm kind of deciding that nobody's ever going to see this, except for you and me. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to take the blue off this end, put it in there. That over there. Do something with my edge catcher. Try and get the rest of my paint to go off my spatula. Well, I've got a couple minutes, but I think what what's going to happen is I'm just going to let my 18 minutes run out. I'm not hating it as much as I was. <laughs> I could do all kinds of weird stuff, and weird stuff is going through my head. I could definitely take um, a swipe card and run down through and see what happens. I've got some yuck. <laughs> I've got some yuck on my hands too. I'm going to take the paint in my dish so it doesn't get wasted. Put it right there, because I can. Not sure where else I might want some of that. I'm gonna throw both of those things in the bucket. Stop the clock and come back in a second. I might fast forward through everything at the beginning. All right, I'll be back in a sec. So I'm back and I'm going to swipe. I did take a picture, but I'm not sure what the point would be. And I'm going to grab some jasmine and or some, maybe jasmine and water lily. Water lily is plugged. Of course it is. Okay, so this is the proverbial here goes nothing. I'm going to grab some of my Atelier Rich Gold and Pebeo Iridescent Gold and use it with some black, Amsterdam Black with Australian Floatrol. Well, I can see this is this wants to be open, but it's also got crumbs stuck in it. I'm afraid it's going to wind up in my painting. I 
and I've never done anything that I'm about to do before. This is the water lily. This is a prism pour. kind of different. <laughs> I don't, still don't think anybody's ever going to see this. I need a scrape dish too. Time to get my studio straightened out. Not a scrape dish in sight. I'll just use the... Now, what do I else? I, this is just brown and brown and more brown. And the only thing I can think of to do is to add some other color. And I'm not sure that that's a good idea. But I am going to do it anyway. Saffron. Some spatula. Maybe some jasmine as well. Because I'm not minding this in the middle. It looks pretty... Very beautiful. Oh, Jasmine's ready to have some more made. Whoa. Okay. It's one of those days. I haven't worked in my studio for a couple days and evidently I'm nervous. I'd like to think I could rescue this, but it will be a miracle. I'm, a, I'm really loving that, and I... Come on. Something has to behave now. It's stuck. Come on. Unstick. Thank you. <laughs> Just one of those days. All right, so I like some of this stuff up here, but I think if I start down here, I got a shot. So I'm going to do the same thing, only more so. Saffron. I'm going to try it with some of the Dancing Fuchsia. I've got a little bit of deep amethyst if I can get it open, which I don't think I can. I have pliers. I have easy grip pliers and I recommend them. This does not want to come off at all. I believe that that must be mixed with um, Vivid Enamel. I want... some sour lemon with orange crush that I think I just saw something land in my painting in. I might be sorry. <laughs> That's Royal Sapphire. I'm going to do the same thing I just did. Only I think I need a bigger spatula to tell you the truth. If I have one, I'm going to grab it. Yep, I've got one.
think I might have rescued this. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't know what it is, but it's not ugly. <laughs> and it was. And I should probably be willing to tip that, but it's not actually very heavy with the paint because I didn't put a big puddle down to begin with. I'm going to torch. I'm going to shimmer that at you. I'm going to call it good. I'm going to, well, yeah, I am actually. <laughs> do happen. I gotta check my bottles more regularly. Or just not plan on using a whole bunch of different colors. Okay, time to shimmer. Unbelievable. <laughs> just totally. I was not thinking that I was gonna save this one. But it's actually pretty pretty cool. I don't like it as much from up here as I liked it from down there, but uh, maybe desperate times. All right. I love you guys. I hope you come again. <laughs> Give me another shot. I post at 2, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have 32 playlists with 100 videos on them each. And uh, wow. This is really beautiful up close. I don't know why it doesn't look better in the monitor, but um, it's going to get a coat of gloss varnish, and uh, I only see one little tiny spot of black background. No, two. There's two. There's three. So I'm glad I did a black background. I'm not sure which side is up, but uh, there's some tremendously beautiful combination of cells in here. All right. So whatever I'm forgetting is everything's in the description underneath the video on the link tree. I give lessons to the house in Springfield, Florida, and I do sell my artwork. And please, please inquire. Questions are welcome and encouraged. My community board will show you tomorrow's video. Thank you for those of, to those of you who have become members and are keeping my channel alive, along with those of you who contribute through Patreon and those of you who donate through PayPal. I really appreciate you guys helping me buy the art supplies I need to continue to make videos for YouTube and you and everybody who can't afford to donate. Um, happy 2024. <laughs> Let's hope it is one. We could use that. Um, whatever I'm forgetting, you'll see in another video. Please give me a thumbs up. No, I love you and you inspire me always, even when I'm having a really hard day like that was. <laughs> all right. I'll see you in on. Bye for now. I love you all. Priscilla out.